Hi guys. Um, I wanted to show you how to more quickly um, get your own samples into Signal. Uh, right now I'm using the demo, which uh, it should be the same. The, the principle is the same. Um, so first what you need to do is have the default instrument loaded uh, with two instances. So exactly the same preset. In this case it's just signal demo and keep the uh, first preset loaded and so what you'll do is in the first one the one on the top click the wrench have group editor and mapping editor selected select edit all groups and make sure this is deselected so that you can uh, select all of the samples so select all the samples and then delete all of them. And if you don't see anything, that means that all of the samples have been successfully deleted. Uh, then what you need to do um, is import the necessary groups from the second instance. So click on the wrench, mapping editor, and group editor. Um, so in this case, we'll solo it, see which groups are being activated. So ARP 11 layer 2, and ARP 46 layer 1. So that one yep yep that's the one and then just like in my previous video I want to keep the dummy and the scan as well because I, I don't know what they do but they might be important so copy selected groups Oh, I forgot. Okay, so this is probably the most important thing here is uh, right click and then purge empty groups. And then what you'll do is go back to this. These are still selected, so just uh, copy selected. Whoops, cancel. Copy selected groups and then paste back into the, the first instance. So then we can delete this group. There's no way to delete every group, it will keep at least one group in when you purge empty groups. So the, the important, what the heck? Okay, uh, the important thing is in this first instance is to make sure that you've deleted all the samples and that it's, that this is selected. Um, so once you delete all the samples, um, you can right click and say purge empty groups right here and it will delete every group except for one and then so I'm basically just reiterating what I did. And then from this second instance, you copy the groups that are activated in the first preset. So that was ARP 11 layer two, ARP 46 layer one, and then I copied these as well, dummy and scan. And then I just imported the groups back into here and then I deleted the group that was left over when I purged the samples, or purged the empty groups. So that basically all that's left is the ones I copied from the second instance of Signal. So now that we've done that, I will save this.
always display my horrible typing skills. Okay. Um, so now I see that that's empty. And of course, nothing happens when I press the keyboard. So let's uh, import some samples. It doesn't matter. We're just doing this for experimentation's sake. I don't even know what note this is, so I'll just drop it in there anywhere. And let's try a different sample. And so, so you just drop in your samples and drag them, or if you have an instrument that's already, you can load an instrument and then copy the samples. Uh, I'll show you an example here. So, Copy zones. Don't copy the group because the group is specific to that instrument. So if you copy the group, the it's probably not going to behave correctly in Signal. Um, okay, so then you just right click and then paste the samples. And then all the zones will be um, laid out just the way they were in the, the original instrument. And in this case, it would be it would be laid out just like this. So, sold this. And it's not working. Ah, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. So, what you need to do is just reinitialize the the original preset. So, it's activating both samples. And, you know, something interesting that you could even try is layering samples. So you can paste samples from different libraries. So I think that's a bass guitar. Let's see. Yeah, so that really quick sound is is kind of uh, the bass, I think. Actually kind of appropriate. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of get pretty complicated with sound design. You can uh, theoretically layer as many sounds as you want. And then when you trigger it, um, Signal will trigger all the samples and put it through the engine. So it might be kind of an interesting way to experiment. Um, so let's see what happens when we change the preset though. So yeah, again, the problem with this, I still haven't figured it out, but it will always trigger at least one layer or one group Oh, the other group is never triggered when you change the preset. If we change it back, it might. Yeah. That's well, because that's the original preset's samples. Um, so what you can do is just use this and and tweak this original preset. And it will always trigger that sa those samples, both the samples. Um, but otherwise you can you can still use the different presets just to see how they sound and 
Um, it will just trigger one of the groups, though. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just a quicker way to load your own samples. Um, so I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day.